Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how you can go ahead and you can start editing. So we're going to start with the first five seconds. I'm going to start with the first voiceover, which is this one. Tired of losing money on trades? So if I wanted to generate this as a voiceover, first of all, let me copy what that, that text says. And let's go to 11 Labs, which is the software that can turn text into voiceover. And basically, once we go into 11 Labs, uh, we can really do a lot. So uh, here, inside of 11 Labs, first of all, let me place this text. Secondly, let's go ahead and let me take uh, a particular uh, voice artist from the voiceovers that I have. I have a lot. I'm going to choose Mike, which is a, or Michael, which is a deep and resonant voice. And I would like to generate speech. So it's going to generate speech. Tired of losing money on trades? And I'm going to download it. And of course, before you download it, make sure you always listen. Now, one thing here is that uh, this is not enough. Uh, tired of uh, losing money on trades is not enough. So obviously, I'm going to actually create another scene. But uh, first of all, uh, let's go ahead here and generate uh, the first, uh, the, the character, the trader character. So we're going to generate an image of a trader, someone trading. Uh, we're going to go here to image generation. Here, inside of image generation, we're going to go and just uh, generate a picture of a trader, for example. Let's go ahead and say uh, smart trader front view picture. Smart trader front view picture, as you can see. And if I click on generate right here, it's going to proceed to generate uh, a particular or uh, four images in this case using Leonardo. Uh, these images, I can actually take one of them, isolate it, and I can uh, I can make a talk. And uh, there's a feature inside of the ID which enables us to upload audio. So we can use the audio from 11 Labs and make the picture talk using the same audio from 11 Labs. Uh, that's a, such a great thing that uh, we can definitely use. There it is. So we have um, this particular image of this trader. Now, let me go ahead and download this image for a second. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to go to the ID now with the image here. I would like you to click on create, the create button, select video instead of agent. You can create an agent, but um, to be honest, I only want to create a video. So obviously I'm just going to select create video. And then here, what you can do, you can upload an image. Okay. You can go ahead and upload an image and that image is going to be none other than the image of the pretty much the uh, trader. So as you can see, the image is being uploaded right now. I'm just going to wait a second for it to upload and then we can utilize it. So it's here, the image. Now, I'm gonna, the image is selected. If I want to make him happy, I can make him happy or natural, whatever it is. I'm going to make him happy. And then here, I'm going to go to the script option. First of all, I don't need to choose a voice. But if you don't use a voiceover of by, by 11 Labs, then you can, uh, you can uh, select your own voice. Here, I'm going to go to script. And I'm going to click on audio. And I'm going to click on upload. You can also record an audio that you want to say, or that you want that person to say. Now I'm going to record this 11 labs audio like this, uh, or add the 11 labs audio. It's two seconds. Tired of losing money on trades. As far as the background is concerned, you can change it. You can also add text to the background if you want to, but I'm not interested in, I'm just going to generate the video like this. Now you can title it. You can say trader scene number one. This is the scene number one. Uh, let's cre create it. Only takes me one credit. I have 40 credits left. And it doesn't take that much time before the video is going to be ready, right? So now the video is here, as you can see. Uh, what I can do with it, I can click and I can just download that particular video, right? So the video is downloading right now. Then I can go to CapCut. I can create a new project. Um, and as you can see right now, the project is going to start. And then what I can do, since I promised... I'm going to go ahead and edit this video together with you inside of CapCut. So now that we have this video, uh, we can click on import and then it's going to basically import the video for us. So here, I'm going to pick this video right here. Now that I added this video, it's, it's safe to go ahead and right click on this option, add a new folder, and then I'm going to name that folder. I'm going to rename it actually, and I'm going to actually name it scene number one, right? Scene number one. So I'm going to select all of this text, scene one and i'm going to click on save and then i'm going to just drag this particular element right here inside of the folder then access the folder and drag this particular scene right over here and then in order for us to hide the did 
uh, I, I can scale the image, right? I can actually make it bigger in order for us to hide that the ID symbol over there. Uh, all right, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead over here and then scale this image um, by basically making it larger like this in order to hide that DID symbol. And I can also drag this over here a little bit so that we can see more of the face. And if you watch this, it's it's it really sounds like a person talking. So we can even go full screen with this, right? So that we can see this in detail. Tired of losing money on trades? As you can see, that's quite good, right? Now let's go ahead over here. And first thing is first, I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract audio, right? Because I want to separate image uh, video from audio. Then I want to go back and I'm going to do the same thing for the second scene. Inside of ChatGPT, we have a second scene, right? So the second scene is uh, discover the secret to never losing trades again. So I would like to go ahead and copy this. Then I would like to go back into 11 labs and I would like to transform this into an audio, right? So I'm going to click right here, upload this, generate. And in this case, it's going to go ahead and discover the secret off. to never losing a trade again. So I'm going to download that, then go to DID, and I'm going to make the same person say something else. So I'm going to click create, okay, here inside of DID. It's going to help me to create another video. So let's go ahead and click create a video. And basically, because I already have that particular image over there, so I can just use the same image to generate a video with it. So here, this is the image, it's already there. Um, well, let me select it again. Okay, as you can see, it's selected right now. And I can make him a bit serious or lively. So I'm going to actually make him lively this time and also happy. And for the voice, I'm going to go to script. And I'm going to go right over here to audio. And I'm going to go right over here to upload audio. And basically what I want to upload is an audio of this person talking. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. So I'm going to actually go ahead over here. Uh, where is the audio? Okay, so I think this is it. It's the six second one. Uh, always make sure that you listen to your audio. Discover the secret to never losing a trade again. It's only three seconds. And right now I can click on generate. Okay, now I'm going to say trader scene number two. Let's say that this is scene number two. If I click, I can just click let's go and it's going to basically start generating. Okay, and it's going to generate. In the meantime, I'd like to open Kyber AI because I just want to show you that I just want to make a, a little bit of a transformation to catch attention. I want to make it look like this person was someone and then he transformed all of a sudden into some other car cartoonish character. So I'm going to click right here, go to video. And here I'm going to upload a video. But first of all, I need a video to upload first. So this is the video that I want to upload. It's the second one. Let me first of all go ahead and download that particular video. Now, before I do this, I'm going to go back to CapCut. I'm going to exit by clicking on all. I'm going to right click over here, new folder. This folder, we're going to click right click here and then renaming it. And basically what I'm going to rename it is basically scene number two and then save. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to double click to go inside of that particular scene. And then I would like to import the same uh, video and I'll show you the trick that I do which basically makes it look like there is a transformation happening. So I'm going to drag this particular scene right over here, right? And then I'm going to scale it, right? So first of all, let me move the needle here, click on the scene, scale, move it downwards so that we can see more of the head and right click to extract the audio from the scene. And as you can see now, it looks pretty, pretty fun. Now let me go back. Let's go to Kyber AI. Let me click on video option here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform that particular person into a cartoon. So I'm actually going to transform them into something. So I'm going to click on edit here. Let's just say expert, expert, super smart, joker, trader, like this. And that's just what I want. Uh, it's just uh, uh, actually something. And I'm going to click on cinematic effect here and click on video settings. In which case it's going to take me here. I'm going to choose version one. And I'm going to also make this five, generate previews. And now it's going to start working on it because this scene is pretty small. It's not going to take a lot uh, as much as it would take if it was a bigger scene. But of course, it's going to take a couple of minutes. So it's, it's definitely going to take, take some time. But it will give us a preview of how it would look like. It will give us one frame. And you can see this looks amazing. So I'm going to select this one, right? And I'm going to generate the, the video. I'm going to create the video. Okay. Now for this one, for the most part, I'm going to actually... Uh, uh, remove this audio. I'm going to add it again one more time. 
Uh, the reason why is I don't want to scale it now. I want to scale it later because I still need to add the asset from Kyber and then make it look like there is a transition, a transformation happening. So I need to keep it at pretty much the same size. So I'm going to remove this, uh, right? Cancel. I'm going to remove this right here. Drag it again. Right click and then extract audio. And now I can go back. Now, while this is generating, I, I need to keep working. So I need to go back to ChatGPT. Now, inside of ChatGPT, we have another voiceover. This one says, our expert training shows you exactly what to trade. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Okay, go to 11 Labs, double click, paste the voice, generate. As, as, long as, you, as soon as you generate the script. Our expert training shows you exactly what to trade. By the way, if you don't like a script, click on generate again, and it will generate another version. Now here, I'm going to move the needle here. I'm going to zoom out a bit and I'm going to exit this scene. I'm going to right click over here, new folder. And this folder, I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to rename it as scene number three. So this is scene number three. Okay, save. Now inside of scene number three, I would like to upload the voiceover, place it here. Then I would like to go and create a background video. So I'm going to click on this particular voiceover right over here. It's going to add. I'm going to drag it over here. There you go. And then let's go back. So if I go back, here we are in ChatGPT. I'm going to copy this. So close-up of trading strategy cha chart with annotations and highlights. Okay. So I'm going to go to Leonardo AI. And I would like to generate an image of the sort. And I would like to turn that image into a motion, which is going to take some time. But first of all, let's generate the image first. All right. So we have some charts. I'm going to pick one of them and I'm going to turn it into a motion. Okay. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to generate it like this. Now, you don't have to do it like this. Uh, because you can just go and search for uh, a uh, Pixabay uh, stock video, and you can use that instead if you want to. Now, let me go to Kyber AI. This Kyber asset is still cooking in there, so I'm just going to wait for it. First of all, let's just uh, do things step by step. Okay, so right now we have our video. I'm just going to go ahead and click download, and I'm going to go back to CapCut. And right here inside of CapCut, I'm going to click on the import button. And then basically, I'm going to import this particular scene which I'm going to drag it here. And this scene is pretty big, which means I'm going to have to either crop part of it or make it a bit faster. So I'm going to click, I'm going to go to speed. I'm actually going to make it just a, a bit faster than that. So if I go and make it faster, just a little bit more, you can see that now it fits and I can move the needle here. It doesn't fit perfectly, but I can actually fit it up myself like this. And I can even zoom in to check if it fits. It's not, so I'm just going to have to crop that extra edge and then zoom out. There you go. And as you can see, now we have the scene, right? Now let me exit and then let's go back and then let's click on Kyber. Now the video is now ready. So I'm going to go ahead and download to never losing a trade again. I'm going to pause it for a second and I'm going to go right back here. Now scene number two, I'm going to put my cursor right over there. Go inside of scene number two, click on the import button. And then basically what I will do is very simple. I will drag this Kyber asset like this. There it is. And I'll drag it here. I'll put it on par with the first scene. Then, because this asset has audio, I'm going to extract audio from it. Then I would like to go ahead and remove that audio because there is double audio. Then what I would like to do is I would like to cut this scene from here. Remove a bunch. And then I'm going to remove this magnet, turn it off, click on this scene as well and cut it. And then remove the, not the first chunk, the first chunk, uh, the second chunk. And then put this here. And now if we watch this, cover the secret to never losing. It looks like there is a transition. Now it's not, there is not a, a transition with a glitch, which we can add. So if I zoom in here, I can go to transitions and I can go ahead and apply a particular glitch looking transition. I would like to add the sound effects at the end of the video, but now I'm just going to go ahead and grab a regular glitch transition. As far as the sound effects, I'm going to add them at the end. So I'm going to drag this particular glitch in between these two scenes to make it look like there is a, some kind of electricity over here and make it smooth. And now let me zoom out. Okay. And let's go back at the end of this scene. Now there's not much scenes left. Let's go ahead and keep generating the rest. So here for the fourth scene, we have a, and the right moves at the right time. So let's go ahead over here and basically copy this text. First of all, let's go ahead to uh, Leonardo, uh, image, gen not image generation, but voiceover AI, uh, 
Eleven Labs turn it into a voiceover. And the right moves at the right time. And then let's go back here, and then let's go to import. Click to exit this, and then double uh, right-click, new folder. And then this folder, we can right-click and basically rename it. And we can basically rename this as scene number four, scene number four, and then save, okay? And if I go inside, I can then right now import the audio that I have just created. So let me go ahead and double click here. It's going to add the audio and I can drag it right over here like this. There it is. And now let me actually zoom in a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and try to find a matching scene for that audio. So the matching scene is a footage of a trader. Now here, like I said, Canva or Pixabay, okay? So if I go to Canva, there's plenty of videos that I can use in Canva. There's also plenty of videos that I can use in Pixabay copyright free. So if I go to Canva, if I wanna create an asset like this, or if I wanna download an asset, it's as simple as creating on click, create a design, and then looking for video like this, and then basically creating a project of a video like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and search for a video that represents this particular representation. So if I go to elements, let's go ahead and search for this for a second. So one, two, three. If I go to elements, there it is. I can click right here and I can just go ahead and put the description, enter here. I can click on the videos button, in which case it's going to basically look for something similar to what is being described. So here, for instance, we have this particular image or video that I like, so I'm going to click on it. Our scene is not so big, so it's only about, if I'm correct, four seconds, not more. We can check this out by going back here. Now it's only about four seconds max. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click done, playback. I'm actually going to increase the speed and I'm just going to keep just a little bit, just about four seconds and I can cut the excess later. I can right click over here, set the video to background. I can click to make sure there is no audio and I can go ahead and say scene number, I think it's scene number five to be precise, four actually, scene number four and I'm gonna add B roll and I'm gonna click here and then download this as a video like this. I can make it 4K, that wouldn't be necessary. So I'm gonna download this particular video and once it's downloaded, I can just go ahead and place it right here. Right. All right, so the video was downloaded. I can go back to my scene here, click on import, and I'm just going to go ahead and import this particular scene like this. Now, let me just go ahead and drag this particular scene over here. It's a bit bigger, so I can zoom out and I can actually crop the excess that I don't need. And that's it. That's more like it. Now, what we can do as well, what well, we can do a, a bunch of a bunch of things, such as adding a special effect. Uh, so, for instance, I can right click, right? Control C to copy, and I can move the needle here, Control V to place it exactly over there. And what I can do, I can use the blend feature and I can reduce the opacity of that first one. And I can actually use the mirror effect to kind of create a illusion of a mirror looking like there is glasses here, glasses there, uh, which might make it look even more interesting like this. So as you can see, this also can be quite interesting but I don't think it's going to be well, so I'm just going to remove it. I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay. Now let's go back to ChatGPT. So here I'm going to go and then the, the sixth scene. Now there's uh, many more scenes here that we need to add. So here we have a no more guessing, no more losing. So let's go ahead and actually for these ones, I'm going to actually try to go on turbo mode. So I'm going to copy this voiceover, come right here, double click, paste it in, generate speech, and then no more guessing, no more losing. And I'm going to go right back here. I'm going to click on all. I'm going to right click new folder. Obviously this one, I'm going to have to right click on it, rename it something else. So I'm going to double click, rename it as scene number five and click save. And then I can actually double click to enter and I can go right back here. I can go to chat GPT, the background video, happy traders in a group discussing and sharing strategies. What I can do, I can either go to Canva or I can just go to Google and search on Pixabay. So I can search this Pixabay video. I can just put the description of the video and search for it. If I go and look for some videos that represent that, I'll find a lot. So here, there's a lot of videos that I can use. For instance, we have these particular videos. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to click 
let's just say that these are traders negotiating the business. And so I'm going to click on that. And because Pixabay downloads videos super fast, I'm going to click download and then download again. And then you will just will just be super fast. So right now you can see it's uh, pretty much downloading. So the video has been downloaded. I can go right back here. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to click to import. I just created the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and import it first or import them both. I'm going to click voiceover as well as the scene together. And what you can do as well, you can actually drag them both together. So they're selected together. You can drag them together like this. And of course, it didn't work out perfect. So I think I'm going to drag each one of them by itself. So I'm going to put the 11 Labs voice over here. I'm going to go ahead and drag the scene, place it right over here. And then I'm going to actually click, go to speed, increase the size, or increase the speed actually a little bit more and probably just crop the extra bit like this. And then I'm going to put my cursor right over here at the end, zoom in a bit, and then also, well, let's just put the needle a cursor over there. Now let me zoom out. Okay, perfect. Now for one thing here, let's go back. Let's go to ChatGPT. And then here we have voiceover, this one as well. So let me go ahead and copy this. Let's go ahead and turn this into a voiceover as well. Copy, paste, generate. Right. Learn the secret trading skills that make all the difference. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead, click on all, right click, new folder. And then this new folder, I'm going to right click to rename it as scene number six. So instead of uh, folder one, I'm going to rename it scene six, hit the save button, and then double click, and then import. And basically, what I will do is I will just go ahead and I'll just add the 11 labs voiceover, drag it like this. There you go. And let's go back. So now the scene is instructor teaching a class. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look for something like this on Pixabay. So let's go to Google. Let's go to Google search results. And we can search for precisely something like this inside of Google search results. Instructor teaching. And if I go to the first video that I find, you can see that right now it's working well. If I scroll down, uh, there is some videos here. So... Let's go ahead and take a, a video that actually represents what we are doing here. Well, actually, I think uh, these videos are not so great, but I think potentially I could find something interesting. Okay. Or actually, I think it would be better off if I just click here on this uh, Forex asset uh, and use that instead. We have some pretty interesting gold videos over there that also can do well, but I'm just going to click here to download. There you go. And let's go back to CapCut. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and import this video. There's the video. So I'm going to drag this particular video right over here. And I can speed this up. So I can go to speed. I can actually speed it up a little bit. And then I can crop the extra edge and place it like so. Then I can exit. Right click. New folder. This new folder, we're going to call it scene number seven. So right click. Rename. And then here I'm going to double click. I would like to call this scene seven, save. There you go, and go inside. And what I'd like to do as well, I would like to go back to ChatGPT. Um, so this is the seventh scene, and here is the best part, right? Let's copy it and then go back here, double click, paste it in, generate speech, which is gonna generate the speech. Let's generate. And here's the best part. Download it, and make sure that you go back here. Dramatic transition to instructor pointing your screen, free AI course, okay, free AI course. Well, well, we can do something like that. So actually, we would be good if we just put a asset, like a gold asset or something like that. I want to stay in the theme of trading. So I'm going to click on this and we can put some captions that say what we want them to say. So the captions will work as well for the most part. Uh, you don't necessarily have to follow everything that ChatGPT is telling you because we're human and we can make our own decisions. Uh, ChatGPT can only help when it comes to productivity, it can help us produce more, it can help us to do more, but generally speaking, it doesn't have to tell us exactly what to do and when to do it, because we can go and have, do our, make our own decision. So now let's go back to scene number seven here. I'm going to right click on the import option and or which is going to take me here. So if I go here, I'm going to click on the downloads, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select both these two assets. So 
these two assets selected. Let me drag them over here. Make sure that I put them there. Okay, I'm going to click out. I'm going to pull this audio right back here on par with the previous audio. Um, let's just try and make sure that they're glued together. And then this one, well, obviously, I'm going to activate the magnet and it's going to glue it together. And then I can go to speed, can increase the speed, and I can also go ahead and just make sure that I do something like this. I can click right over here. All right, so now I can click on all, right click. I believe scene number eight is the final one, perhaps. Um, so if I right click on this, rename, I can go ahead and name this something such as, uh, well, scene eight, save. There you go. Um, and then I'm going to right click on it and then go back here. Now let's close, um, go back to ChatGPT for a second. Yeah, there is actually two more scenes. Well, there's two more scenes. Now, get free access to AI powered trading course, uh, footage of the course interface, transform your skills today. Well, this one, I don't need to, to do it. I'm just going to do number eight and 10. So let me go ahead and generate this voiceover, go back to 11 labs, put the voiceover in, generate, download. Get free access to our AI powered trading course. And then here, as far as the scene, footage of the course interface, interactive lessons, trading. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and instead of the gold lingos, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, pick another trading themed scene that I can use. So we have a bunch of trading scenes. I think this one is pretty cool or perhaps this one, but that one has Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click right here instead of the Bitcoin one, I'm just gonna download this very simple trading video. I'm going to go back to our file and I'm going to right click here on the import option so that we can import the two assets. So I'm going to click like this and then let's go ahead and let's take both these two assets like so. Open them up. There you go. So now we have both these two assets. I can drag the voiceover first and I can go back to drag the, uh, the scene as well and I can go to speed. I can increase the speed and I can also make sure at the end that I do something like this. Okay. Now, let me exit, and then let's go to final scene. I'm not going to add scene number 9. Instead of it, I'm going to add scene number 10. Scene number 10. Because scene number 9 actually is not really necessary. Uh, there's just uh, uh, unnecessary repetition. So here, this call to action is enough. So sign up now and start winning. Uh, we could make this even more interesting. So I could have asked ChatGPT to talk about money, maybe say something like, sign up now and start earning $200 a day or something sign like that. Sign up now and start winning. As you can see, the voiceover didn't come out right. I'm going to regenerate. Sign up now and start winning. This one is good. So I'm going to download. Now, as far as the uh, call to action, well, for the call to action, I'm going to go to Canva for this one. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this particular scene. And I'm going to go to design. And in design, we have a lot of a lot of elements. So if I were to click on this one, for example, it's going to show me a lot of these particular elements that I can use, these, these scenes that have text to them. So for instance, if I go back and I search for sign up, for example, I'll find a lot of video assets with the word sign up in them. So these are what we call video assets. Uh, register now, sign up, all of these, they're pretty cool. Um, so start training now. Uh, so if I click on this one, this one I think is pretty good. I liked it. I'm going to click to add that. And here I'm going to say start or sign up now or start training now. Actually, it's not bad. Now for the red color, I'm going to remove it, change it to the green. Also change this one to green as well. Um, this one, I'm going to change it to white. Click color white. Click this color green. And as you can see now, this is looking quite good. I can add an animation to this. Uh, it already has an animation. So I'm going to name it scene number nine. I'm going to click. It's 6.8 seconds when I download it as a video with animations. And I'm going to go back here, double click. First of all, let me upload the voiceover since I already have created it. Let's go ahead with the voiceover, double click. I'm going to drag this voiceover and place it right over here. Then I'm going to actually go back for the scene when it finishes. All right, so we have the scene that's pretty good. Now I'm going to click here on the import button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab that particular scene and I'm going to use it. So scene number nine, double click to add it. I'm going to drag this particular scene right over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to speed. I'm going to increase the speed. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and crop some extra parts. And now let's go ahead and add 
a custom adjustment to the video to make it look better. So I'm going to click on adjustment here, and then I'm going to drag a custom, what we call a custom adjustment. Drag the custom adjustment right over here. So if I drag this custom adjustment, as you can see, it's right there. Now what I'm going to do with the custom adjustment is I'm going to use it to actually make the image a bit more clear instead of it being gloomy and shadowy like this. So if I click on the custom adjustment right over here, I can go here, add some temp, add some tint, uh, add some saturation, just a little bit, not so much. Uh, scroll a little bit, a little bit, add some exposure, add some contrast, add some highlights, a little bit less shadows, uh, a little bit more white colors, a little bit less uh, black color, a little bit more brilliance, sharpen it a bit, add more clarity. And here I can also add a vignette, but I'm not going to. And I can actually show you the difference. So this is the scene before, this is at, this is at, this is before, this is after, after, before, or after, before, after, before. You can see that there is a huge difference. I'm going to spread this across the entirety of the scene to make it better, significantly better. And then I'm going to go right here into these scenes of the Joker and this. I'm going to select the scene of the, the Joker and this person. And I'm going to scale both of them at once so that they can both stay like that. And I'm going to move them both at once down. Now, as far as the uh, glitch uh, between them, I'm going to go over here and go to import. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a, a particular glitch from the downloads. So I just have to go and search for, I think, TV glitch. There you go, TV glitch. That's what I downloaded from Pixabay. And I can just drag this particular TV glitch right over here. And uh, I can just cut the extra part at the beginning. Or just place it like so. And then I can reduce the sound, place it here, and I can cut. I can remove the extra part and listen to this now. Discover the secret to never losing. And it, it applies that particular transit applies that particular transition, which is good. Now let's go ahead and because we have a bunch of scenes, we can basically do the same thing. We can go to transitions. We can keep the same transitions, which is glitch. I can add a glitch here. Also, there's a glitch here between these two, or you don't need to uh, between these two because they're the same face, except for there, there was kind of a zoom over there, uh, but I'm not going to add a transition. I'm going to take another glitch, place it over here, take another glitch, place it over here. And also take another glitch, place it between these two scenes as well. And I'm just going to continue placing more glitches in between the scenes. Like this, for example. And then I'm going to click right here. I'm going to drag another glitch and place it right here. Then I'm going to click right here on, on top of this one. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to click on this glitch. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to right click over here and paste it right on top. Then zoom out. I repeat the same process with this. Also with this, also with this, also with this, and with these other ones as well. So pretty much this glitch needs to go on all of them. All right, so I think I'm going to have to copy it again. And then Control-V. Now I added the glitch for pretty much all of the scenes. Now let's go back for a second. And let's add captions and be done with this. So I'm going to go to captions for a second. And I'll add some captions. I'll also add an entry and an entrance and uh, I would say uh, exit animation or, tra or effect. First of all, let's generate some captions in English. Of course, it's not going to take so much time because this is a short video. I'll also show you how you can transform this video into a short, into a short video or video short that you can also publish on uh, uh, TikTok or whatever you want to use. Uh, but as of now, let's just focus on this for a second. So as you can see, the captions were added. And uh, as usual, you need to read the captions to make sure that there is no mistake with the captions. Generally speaking, if there is not, there's not a lot of technical words such as ChatGPT, 11 Labs, VoiceOver, you know, these names of softwares, you can expect that it would most of the time make some mistakes. So you'd have to always make sure that you check it on these and make sure that you check if there is no mistake. Uh, but in this case, I don't think there's going to be a mistake. Uh, this script is very small, uh, and uh, it's actually just uh, normal words that the AI got used to. So here, uh, most of these are correct, 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 correct. I don't think there's any mistake with them. Let me go to text here, and then let's go ahead and choose a template. A template for what? A template for the caption, right? So we need a template for the caption. Also, there is another thing I would like to add, which is a form of a glitch effect over the entire video. First of all, let's go ahead and grab 
a caption template. Now, if I scroll down a bit, here we have some captions. I would like to go ahead with this one right here, okay? So it's going to start applying that particular caption. In the meantime, while I was working on it, I'm gonna to go to effects, and I would like to go ahead and look for the glitch effect to make it look like some sort of an advanced technological video, right? Um, now the, of course, it's still working there on the captions. And uh, I would like it to keep them here. So I'm not gonna change the position of the captions. I'd like to keep them here in that particular position, right? Okay, so there's a network error. Let me click again. All right, captions were added. And uh, as you can see them, they're over there. We can make them bigger if we want to, but that wouldn't be necessary. Now let me go ahead over here to video effects. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna go to glitch. And basically what I'm gonna add is a glitch all over the scene. And I call it the uh, simple glitch, right? It's a very simple glitch uh, such as this. So if I drag this particular glitch over here, I'm gonna drag it across the entire scene, right? From beginning to end, all right? So first of all, let's just place it over there. Secondly, let's go ahead and make sure that we drag it all the way through. And then third, we can also control the range and the filters and the speed to not make it alter the quality of the video. Right? You can see the glitch over there, but it's not altering the quality of the video because you can manipulate these details, lower them. Now here, when it comes to effects as well, um, I would like to go ahead to effects and go to opening and closing effects. I would like to add a opening effect and a closing effect. The opening effect is gonna be none other than the TV on. I'm gonna place it right over here. And of course, I'm gonna to have to go ahead and zoom in. And I'm gonna to have to make sure that um, I decrease the size of this in order not for it not to be huge. And I'm gonna to have to zoom out and I'm gonna go for uh, TV off. So this is TV on, right? I think that this is TV on and this is TV off. So I'm gonna drag TV off right over here at the end of the video. And if you notice, there's a lot of people that are using the same strategy to get some people to sign up to their emails by using the same strategy that I'm teaching you right over here. First of all, let me just zoom in. Second of all, let me go ahead and make sure that I just place this exactly where I want it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I crop, crop, crop until just a tiny bit over there. And now that we have our video ready, we can go ahead and basically download it, right? So now the video is ready. You can add the music to it. We can add an audio music so that we can make it look a bit more uh, serious so that people can take it more seriously. Music adds, I would say, uh, a taste to the video. Uh, might be interested for you to go ahead and add some music. So I'm gonna go ahead to music and I'm just gonna go ahead and search for, well, um, let me go ahead and search for a um, trading music or some kind of uh, exciting music. I'm gonna actually go ahead and just look for trading music. I'm not sure what I'm gonna find, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try to find something that I can use. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it does the job. All right, so here, as you can see, loading resources. Let me click on this. I don't like it. Let's try this one. I don't like it either. So what I'm going to go ahead and look for, I'm going to look for secret. Instead of that, I'm going to look for some secret music uh, to make it look like it's, uh, I would say, a type of music that is secret, that is uh, more of a, let's see, not this one. I like this one. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and drag it. Uh, it's not going to fit the entire video, but it's okay if it just fits just the first part of the video. The video is short anyways. And now if we listen to this. Tired of losing money on trades? Discover the secret to never losing a trade again. Our expert. As you can see, the music is good. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower it a little bit more. And now we're ready to go ahead and export this particular music or particular video. So I'm gonna click on the export button over here. And I want to export this as a particular trailer for, uh, particularly in this case, a trading funnel, right? So uh, a funnel, let's just say you're working in CPA, you're getting paid for everyone that you make uh, or everyone that signs up to an email address or signs up with their email address. So here I'm going to go, I'm going to download this in my uh, downloads and I'm going to name it trading trailer. I can go to download, select folder, there you go. And I can go ahead over here and say, um, double click and go to trading course trailer. 
and there you go. I'm going to export, and that's it. Pretty much done. Now that we've created this video, uh, the only thing that's left for us is the next lecture to actually go ahead and watch the video. And I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and transform this video into a TikTok format video if you're interested in that. So stay tuned uh, for Passive Income Gen Z. Wishing you the best in signing out. <laughs>